Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video on not my must-have skincare, but I guess my favorite skincare. <laughs> um, my favorite skincare right now. So I have quite a few products here. As you may have guessed, most of them are from Oregon. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but I do have other ones as well. So they're not really in any particular order, so we'll just get that, I guess. Um, so the first one to me is a, like a definite must have if you have dry skin. This is called um, the Mayo Bay, I think it's pronounced. Natural and organic oxygenating cream. It says moisturizing, oxygenating cream, moisturizing. But I think that's a typo. It says that on my sample too. Um, I feel like it's supposed to say moisturizer. But anyways, uh, it's a moisturizer. <laughs> so this is what the full size looks like. I got this from my birch box. Um, the sample from my birch box. The full size I actually I got from Birchbox as well. Um, this is amazing. It is so light, but it gives your skin this, like, I can't even explain it. It's just, it makes your skin really dewy looking. It makes your skin really fresh. It makes your skin so soft. Um, I just, I really love it. I think this is probably one of the best, um, moisturizers I've found so far. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a white moisturizer. That wasn't even a full, wasn't even half a pump. Um, so you really don't need a lot. It's not thick, really, um, but it's just so soft and moisturizing and, oh my god, it's amazing. It smells so good, too. It smells like oranges to me. I really, really like it. That's probably one of my faves. This, I would say, is a must-have to me. It's a newer product to me, but I've just, like, fallen in love. Um, what's my cat doing back there? He always, in videos, I've noticed when I'm, like, distracted, he tends to stick his feet in his water bowl. And FYI, if any of you guys have cats and yours do that, I'd love to know why. Because personally, I find it really gross that he does that, seeing as he has a litter box and that whole situation. Not very sanitary. <laughs> Anyways, back to the video. Um, so yeah, this is a definite must-have, I would say. So again, it's the Mayo Bay Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturizer. <laughs> I'm going with. Then I have I have two beauty oils from Origins. Um I started when I started into the whole beauty oil thing, I started with the plant description um one from Origins. This is a youth renewing face oil from their uh plant description line, which is basically just all I believe plant based. Um I really, really like this one. But there's something about this that I find in conjunction with their Night and Moon's Night Cream that is just like the perfect duo for my skin at night. I find I use these at night a lot of the time and then I'll use this during the day if I need a beauty oil. And I also mix these with my um, foundation. I, this is like a must have, especially in the winter. I definitely mix these with my, um, my foundation. So, yeah, these two I definitely use together a lot of the time. So this is the, uh, high potency vitamin skin refining oil. That's what that looks like. I like too that they both have, come with the droppers. I think that's really handy. Um, some beauty oils I've seen don't come with the little droppers inside. You sometimes have to buy them separately or they don't come with them at all. Um, and then this is the high potency vitamin mineral enriched oil free renewal cream. I'll show you what this one looks like. 
this is a little bit thicker. Although this isn't as thick as I remember it um, when I first try it. I remember it being thicker for some reason. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, I thought when I first tried it that it was thicker. Again, this smells really good too. I think this smells kind of orangey as well. <laughs> um, most of Origins products are kind of fruit smelling, I guess you would say. Some of them, a lot of them smell orangey. Um, some of them, like the Mega Mushroom uh, line that they have, it isn't, it isn't really the best smelling, to be honest, because it's got, you know, different types of mushrooms in it, so, um, it's not gonna smell the best, but that is actually a line that I really do love as well, um, and in particular the Slow Winter 2. Um, I do actually want to get some of those products too, to, uh, to haul for you guys, because I really do think that they are worth it. Um, so those are the Nightingale's products. Then, what else do we got here? Oh, for scrubs, um, I actually have two. Let's see, I don't know. So I have two, um, kind of versions, I guess. This is a straight up scrub. This is called Modern Fiction, Nature's Gentle Germ Abrasion. And again, it's from Origin. Um, I love, love, love this scrub. At first, it was a little bit harsh for me, I found. Um, but I've kind of worked up to it, I guess. <laughs> Somehow my skin has kind of changed and I really do like this one. They had a, um, I forget what it's called. It's actually in my shower right now. It's a, like a fruit-based one. And I find it's too gentle for my skin. I sort of felt like I needed something in between um, when I first started with this guy. And then, like I said, something changed, I felt, with my skin. And now I feel like I can use this. And I really, really like it. So I don't find that the fruit-based one really does anything for me anymore. Um, so that is the... Uh, Modern Friction, and I love how this smells too. It smells kind of spa-ish. Yeah, it smells spa-y. Um, and then my other kind of scrub-ish idea <laughs> is the Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. So this is a cleanser. This is not the full size. I couldn't bring out the full size. It's just a sample or a deluxe sample. Um, but this is a cleanser, but it's got little kind of beads in it that help to exfoliate your skin. So you wouldn't have to use an exfoliator um, on top of cleansing because it's all in one. I really, really love this concept. Um, it's genius in my opinion because with some of the dry skin, I do have to exfoliate quite often, um, in particularly in the winter time, but that is a definite must for me. Um, okay, I'm trying to keep things in order as best I can. Oh, I brought out my sample actually of the, this is the Nail Bay moisturizer. Um, I don't know why I brought my sample out as well, but I really love it. Um, okay, we'll go with micellar waters, I guess. So, in terms of cleaning your skin, um, and removing makeup, I really, I started out actually with this one from L'Oreal, the Sublime Soft Gentle Micellar Solution. Really, really like this. Um, it leaves your skin really soft, and it doesn't feel like you know when you have a shower and you, your face feels really tight when you get out of the water? Um, kind of like dehydrated. This doesn't make my skin feel that way. And I find with some, like, some of these types of products that you just kind of wipe over your face. Or if I was to use, for example, a toner sometimes can do it. Or, um, and like a makeup wipe. 
you feel clean, but your skin feels kind of dehydrated or stripped in a way. This doesn't make um, my skin feel that way at all. Um, so it says removes makeup and soothes. Um, no rubbing, no rinsing, fragrance free and hypoallergenic. And it is actually for dry and sensitive skin. So I really, really like this one. Um, and it smells nice too. <laughs> yeah. It's got like a very, very, very light scent to it. But, and you can tell that I like it too, because it's almost done. Um, and my other one is newer, as you can tell. What is he doing? Um, okay, this is the L'Oreal Hydrotonal 5 Ultra Soothing Routine Micellar Water. <laughs> um, so this cleanses, removes makeup, soothes dry skin, softens, and hydrates. And again, this is for dry to sensitive skin. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. This is part of my L'Oreal skincare. Um, the new L'Oreal skincare that I'm trying called, called Hydra Total 5. Um, I really do like this. The only thing is it does have, it's not as strong as the cream that's in here, but it does have a pretty strong scent, I would say. Um, that's the only kind of setback. I'm not really sensitive to scents, but I do find that if I'm smelling something like florally for a longer time, I kind of get a headache after a while and it, it kind of starts to bother me. So with this, it's not too bad, but it's sort of borderline, I guess you could say. Um, but that's really the only setback for me is the scent of this one. I find that it works really well though. Um, so other than the scent, I would pretty much tie those two. Um, you know, in terms of like first place or second place, whatever, I would put these together, I would say. Um, it's just the scent for this one kind of throws me off a bit. Um, okay. Then we have a mask and a cleanser that I wanted to show. These are both from Origins. Um, this is a called Drink Up. They also have a Drink Up Intensive, um, which I really love the Drink Up Intensive. There's not too much of a difference with them. Um, the Drink Up Intensive, I think, is an overnight mask, if I'm not mistaken. I think you can wear that one overnight. Um, but I really do love both of them. They leave my skin, again, feeling really soft, really hydrated, um, very kind of glowy because your skin, you know, has that hydration back in it and it just, it looks really nice, I think. And it feels good too. Um, and again, I love the scent of this one too. So it says, uh, 10 minute mask to quench skin's thirst. And this is the size of the cube. It's a full size as well. The other one, um, the Drink Up Intensive, comes in a green tube. So it just depends what you like. They're virtually the same product, except, like I said, the other one you can leave on overnight. Um, I tend to, when I do overnight masks, I tend to pretty much let them soak in. Just my personal preference. I don't like to you know, get my pillowcases dirty and stuff like that. So, um, and I, I'm not one to like just lie there, <laughs> um, when I'm sleeping. So I tend to kind of let them sink in before I go to bed pretty much. Um, but I really do love this and the other one as well. Um, I think I have the other one too, but I think it's in my bathroom. I didn't see it when I was getting things organized. Um, this is Origins Make a Difference Rejuvenating Cleansing Milk. This I tend to use, um, kind of transitioning from spring to, uh, fall. Yeah, spring to fall. <laughs> um, because my skin kind of goes through a weird thing that 
when we go from like warmer to cold weather, and you guys may go through the same thing too. When we go from warmer to colder weather, or vice versa, my skin does a weird thing that like it's like all of a sudden it gets dry, but it's not dry to the point where I need something like super, you know, thick or hydrating or whatever. So this is kind of like an in between for me. I feel. Um, again, it's kind of like a milky texture. Um, smells really good as well. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of like a spa scent, I would say. I don't really know how to describe it. It's not floral, but it's very light. It's, I would describe it as a spa scent, I would say. And it happens to be $29. <laughs> It's got a price tag on the bottom. Um, so that's that. The cleanser, Make a Difference cleanser. I also have the Make a Difference serum. I didn't do serums for this video because the Make a Difference serum is really the only one I have. Um, and I haven't really tried other ones. I have Ole Henriksen's serums, but to be honest, I haven't really been using it too much. Um, I kind of move around to different products when it comes to serums so I haven't used it enough I shouldn't say I haven't used it too much I haven't used it enough to form like a good opinion of it exactly what I would like to share with you guys <laughs> so I left serums out of this for that reason um, but that said I do have one that I am using um, that I've used quite a bit, uh, which happens to be Ole Henriksen. <laughs> um, this is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster from Ole Henriksen. This is a sample size, I believe. I think this is the, yeah, it came in a thing of three. I don't think this is the actual size. Um, this I really like. It's a vitamin C, um, enriched product. I think, personally, when you hit your 30s, it's just my opinion, I really think is the 30s are, when, are the time to when you need to kind of um, put vitamin C in your skincare. I really think that it kind of, it really helps to boost the brightness of your skin. My skin, in, especially in the winter, tends to be really on the duller side and tends to kind of go a little bit ashy. Um, so infusing, introducing vitamin C products such as this, I tend to really like, um, because it just introduces that kind of brightness back into my skin. And especially for under the eyes, which I have a couple of products that I'll tell you about for the under eyes as well. But anything with vitamin C, I think really helps. And like I mentioned, with the this cleanser, um, the ginseng cleanser, it has vitamin C in it as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that. So this is the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum. Um, all of these products too, by the way, other than the L'Oreal stuff, you can get at Sephora. Um, in case you were wondering. So for the eyes. Um, I have, I have three products for the eyes. Um, this one, the one that I didn't really want to show, I really do like this one. It's not a favorite, I would say. Um, so that's why I wasn't going to show it, but it is the Transcription Anti-Aging Power Eye Cream. Um, again, it is a really good, um, eye cream, <laughs> but I just, uh, I don't know, it's not really up there for me, um, I just, I like these others better. So, the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Up, that's, this is another one, um, vitamin C in it and that's what she looks like. Smells like oranges. 
obviously. <laughs> That's kind of the consistency. Um, this I really like for, again, brightening under the eyes. Depuffing, absolutely. In the mornings, I tend to be very puffy. Um, not very puffy, but pretty puffy. So I really like this for under the eyes because um, it really does give you kind of like a radiance um, for that under eye area, especially, like I said, in the winter, it's like, you need this. <laughs> um, and the next one I find the same as well. Uh, this is something that I got from, again, my birch box. And it's called 100% from 100% Pure, and it's called Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream. I've talked to you guys about this quite a few times. I really, really, really love this one for, again, brightening and depuffing. I really think it does both. Um, let's say, yes. Caffeine rich eye cream depuffs, brightens, uh, brightens dark circles. Lessens lines and wrinkles and nourishes with anti aging nutrients. Sorry, the painting is super small in here. <laughs> um, but this is the sample that I got in my birch box. Definite must for the under eye as well. Um, yeah, it just, it really does brighten and I do find that it kind of, it lessens lines and the darkness. I definitely have darkness, especially in here, um, in particularly in the winter as well, because I lose my color, so anything like blue or um, veins and stuff like that tend to come out to play, <laughs> because I don't have any color in my skin, um, which is like most people, really. So... Then the net last eye cream that I have, I wanted to show. This would probably, for me, be more of like a day cream. Um, or sorry, a night cream. The, you could do it, you use it in the day too, because it does say it is a mega bright eye cream. But I kind of, for some reason, I have been using this one during the day and this one at night. But you could use them whenever you want. <laughs> um, this is the Dr. Andrew Weil. Four Origins, uh, Mega Bright Dark Circle Minimizer, and that's what it looks like. Very thick in consistency. This isn't really smelling like anything. It's got like a super light scent. That's the. It's pretty thick. Um, but I really like it. Again, it it offers. Brightness under the eyes, and it's just a really, really nice uh, eye cream. Big winner for that one. <laughs> um, what else do I have? Okay, I have two more um, moisturizers. <laughs> so, one is the Make a Difference Plus Ultra Rich Rejuvenating Cream, and I can't really tell you about this. Oh, it says ultra rich rejuvenating cream, apply AM and PM. So, typically, what I was doing with my um, cream <laughs> was using that one in the morning and then using my vitamins um, at night. Using the sky at night. So, again, you could use them whenever you want, doesn't really matter, um, whatever you're comfortable with, but that's just what I was doing. So, this is what this guy looks like. Again, smells good. Smells kind of, kind of citrusy, kind of spa-like. They all kind of smell, smell very similar, except for the Mega Mushroom. Line, like I said, kind of smells like mushrooms. <laughs> um, yeah, they all kind of smell the same. It's pretty thick, again, as I think I mentioned. Um, but I really love this one too. It's very nourishing, very hydrating. 
Um, it doesn't really give you a glow, I would say, this one, but it definitely, definitely hydrates. Leaves your skin super soft, and I just, I really like it. Then my last one is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. Again, all of the ginseng uh, products are in this orange because they have uh, vitamin C in them. And this one I have not opened yet. <laughs> um, I thought I had one opened. Well, let's open it. So, this is a lighter one. It's kind of what it looks like. And but it's not that thick, but there's just a lot of product on there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really, really like this one too. Again, it's got the uh, brightening properties in it because it's got vitamin C, and it would be a great pair with your um your face scrub and the eye cream and again you can see that kind of glowy look to it i really really love the, those products for that reason um in particular like i said in the winter i think it's really 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 good it must so those are my faves and most of this ad are from origins but all of this you can get at uh, Sephora, except for the Birchbox items. You can obviously get Birchbox.com. Um, I will list both. I will leave both websites down below, and I'll try to find links to all of these things for you guys. But if I can't find particular links, um, like I said, I'll leave the Birchbox link below as well as Sephora. So. Um, if you don't get links, you'll get where to get them. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope you liked my faves, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.